Yo shop baby, it is your boy Nindo X Soul back with another Dokkan Battle video. And as you can see by the title, I want to go over what the part 2 for this anniversary is going to be. Now before I dive into this, I want to make sure you guys are definitely enjoying this anniversary. Tell me about your polls, tell me about your experience so far. If you got shafted, trust me, there's still a lot of time. This banner is going to be here for quite a bit of time. We're probably going to get some more content coming forward. Now, with every anniversary that comes a part 2, that's just a known thing that's been here since like day 1, since like Super Gogeta and the uh, physical Go Tanks. And honestly, I have two particular units in mind. I, you know, when I'm talking to other people or I'm streaming or I'm just asking other people for their thoughts that come to mind for part two. Now, the part one anniversary is really good. These LRs are smacked and I would at least get a copy of each. I'm sure you don't have to tell you that. I'm sure you've seen the showcase and stuff like that, the abysmal numbers, the monster category. And honestly, I shouldn't really have to tell you that, but please at least pack one copy before we go into any part two business here. Now, normal part two units, they follow from part one. So part one, fifth anniversary, sorry, sixth anniversary was Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and MUI Goku, which was followed by Android 17 and Physical 17 and Frieza. Now, they share categories that are similar to the beginning category. So for example, you know, Universe Survival Saga is a category that technically Vegeta kind of runs with the Representative Universe 7 lead. And then you also have Representative Universe 7, which is basically the same thing Vegeta runs. And the same thing for Goku, but Miraculous Awakening. Now, in terms of looking in like these units and looking at Goku and Vegeta themselves, I would want to think they're going to reflect and do something really similar to them. So when I look at this, I look at the Broly movie and the first thing that comes to my mouth is Broly. Now Broly as a character himself is really good when it comes to selling on any gacha game. Whenever he comes out, the sales are just insane. He's really popular obviously as a character, especially from the movie and can't talk about that too much. Just so much to talk about when it comes to that. But yeah, and then when I look at GT, you know, Gogeta for Omega, right? So. Like, a Broly and Omega would be the most ideal thing in my opinion, and there's many reasons why I think we do need these units in particular. Now, when we come, look at the banners themselves, the side units, we have our Sin Shenron, and then we also have the um, Broly himself, which happens to not be Super Saiyan, and which happens to not be Omega. So that already throws, like, you know ideas in my head that they're going to go ahead and make the Omega version of this and they're going to go ahead and make the physical Super Saiyan, well, sorry, uh, Super Saiyan Broly of this unit here. Now, in terms of Broly's in the game right now, this is the only issue I could see if they do happen to make a Broly, the name of the Broly, because this was an issue when LR Tech Broly came out. You were not able to link him with the physical Broly because they share the same name, which is Super Saiyan Broly. So if they drop a Broly that possibly transforms into like Super Saiyan or possibly just has a different name, like SR Broly here, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly, I think that would be amazing and I think they should definitely think about doing that. They could also go with the base form route because this Broly, while he's good, they can go with different names. They could do a Broly raffle that transforms into a Broly and then we're going to have a complete different Broly in total because Adriel Broly is good, but it's not going to be a unit that you use very often. And now when it comes to a unit like Omega Shenron, um, Omega Shenron honestly can definitely use a new part as well. When I think of Omega Shenron, I automatically just think of just the SCR Omega and then the um, physical Omega. SCR Omega, while he's good on like, you know, events like, you know, Super Battle Road, that's pretty much it. Outside of Super Battle Road, that all enemies attack minus 40% isn't going to carry you too much. And then when we look at the other Omega physical, Yes, while he could use an EZA and that might help him a bunch, I still think this is an LR worthy card and considering his animations are 2017, like in terms of year gap old, I don't know. I feel like a new card could definitely work as well. So that being said, I want to go through why I think these two units would be the most ideal. And the reason why I think they'd be the most ideal is because of categories. When we look at categories that need help right now, um, I'd say GT Heroes is clear. So, like, GT Heroes is clear right now. In terms of this category, it's fine. Like, this is a category that's going to reflect upon what I said earlier, how the unit is going to have a category similar to what the first LR had. But this category needs no buffs. It's just insane all around. Every single typing has a unit that's at least, I'd probably say, top 20 in the game. Maybe outside of tech. We could use a new tech unit, but outside of that, really good. Really good. And then we go to Beyond Super Saiyan. Don't have to say much about this. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really necessarily need a Beyond Super Saiyan leader, but if they do, that's just another leader to lead a busted category. And honestly, 
this category is going to be ever growing. It's always going to be amazing. It's always going to be busted. So that definitely doesn't need a buff. Now coming to Fuse Fighters. Fuse Fighters, it could use something, but at the same time, it's still a good category and I'd say it's okay. So let's say they make this Omega Shenron. He's likely not going to lead this category because he's not on the category. And honestly, I'm fine with that because Fuse Fighters has a really good leader at the moment. And I don't think we need another leader for Fuse Fighters at the moment. Now, going through categories that I think Defo need help. Let's start. 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 So, first category I'd say is Shadow Dragon Saga. Now, we do have GT Heroes and GT Bosses, which mainly just separates the two already and makes them have their own, you know, units and their own bunches. But Shadow Dragon Saga could still kind of bring some units together because in this case, if it's Omega, obviously it's going to be a Shadow Dragon Saga um, unit. Could definitely be a Shadow Dragon Saga leader. It does kind of match the whole GT Heroes vibe of the Goku and Vegeta. And it still brings the GT Heroes and the GT Bosses together. But not necessarily everybody from GT Heroes and GT Bosses. So it could still, you know, make a functional category to where, you know, you're able to bring half of both together and probably make a team that's going to correlate to whatever you're trying to do. Now, next one I would say is Full Power. Now, Full Power, as original leader, was Super Saiyan Broly. So I wouldn't see a reason why they wouldn't make another Super Saiyan Broly. Maybe do what they did with 17 and 18. Um... Sorry, well, 17 and Frieza and make like a representative Universe 7 category or Universe Survival Saga category and then make the side category like something like, you know, um, what was I at? Full power. So like that would work for me. That would work for me. This category definitely needs help. I can't think of the last time I personally used this category. And honestly, the leaders themselves have aged poorly. Goku's defense is definitely lacking. Broly's defense is definitely lacking. LR Frieza, although he's a solid LR, has a better variation of him already out who does pretty much everything he does but like two times better. So like a new full power category leader would be amazing because it's shortening and I don't see a reason to run this category right now unless you're trying to be a particular mission. Now, Inhuman Deeds. Inhuman Deeds, Vegeta and Nappa. Vegeta and Nappa came out quite some time ago and they're still the only leader for this category. So in terms of Inhuman Deeds, we could definitely have a Broly leader that's on the category since Broly is on the category. And one unit that was also coming to my mind that could also make would be like a baby. If we got a new LR baby, that would be amazing because this baby has aged a lot, unfortunately. His kit is still good for like Super Battle Road or like, you know, you know, kind of missions that, you know, require him to get his buffs. He's pretty good. But outside of that, baby's not really like, you know, a common use LR that you like jump to to grab. So an extreme baby would be amazing too and it would match a GT. Then now we have Corroded Body in mind. Now, Corroded Body and Mind would go to the baby section of having like a LR baby type of unit that stems from the GT side. And we definitely need like, you know, some type of buff here. Not necessarily like a leader, although his leader skill probably would come in clutch if he does lead the category. But we do need something small in here, whether it's like a baby before he transforms or like, you know, any other type of baby would definitely influence this category. Give some support to this category probably. Because one of the things that this category suffers with is keylings. Any support from an LR or something like that that they can make would be amazing. And normally when they make these units, like 17 for example, they normally rely on the category themselves or, you know, bring more to the category that they're on. So if Corroded Body of Mind, you know, happens to be something that, you know, Baby is buffing and he's like there giving support to the category and making it stronger in itself, that would be amazing because it also needs that. So, Target Goku is the last one I brought up. Now, Target Goku, um, good, good, good category when you think about it, but the only thing it's suffering from is the leader. Like, the leaders are not good whatsoever. Android 13 has fell off poorly, um, and, you know, a free-to-play leader, that's not really something to boast about at all. So I think a new leader for this would work in many variations because, you know, LR Baby could be the leader, Broly could be the leader, and, you know, we could have something for this category itself and give us another reason to run it. And with the 200% leader skills, they can develop a lot of, like, you know, things where they can have, like, another 30% that makes the category, like, blossom more. Let's say they do, like, target Goku and, like, Inhuman Deeds for Broly. That'll give Broly a 200% leader skill, which would be amazing, and also bring some shine to DBZ, Broly, and other units. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this video. I want to know what type of units you're expecting for the part two. I'll probably definitely make another video about this less fast. I have to rush this video a little bit because of work and stuff like that. But, much love. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. This is your boy Nindok, so signing off. Peace out.